Hey guys, what's going on? It's us, from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a better camera as an alternative to the stock camera app on your Samsung Galaxy S3. So with the stock app, you do have a couple of features that a lot of people do find useful, such as HDR and best face. And um, obviously when you run through it, you have the options right here. And then you can also select the shooting modes here and then you know the pictures turn out fine and there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with this but if you are looking for a little more additional features you should check out a better camera which is available for free in the play store so i'll just give you a rundown of the app before i actually show you some of those awesome features so you download a better camera it's a red icon and um here's the the, the interface so you take a picture by clicking on that. Your photo reel is here, just like the stock app would be. Um, you can obviously switch the camera, and you can turn on flash or off flash. And then here's your zoom. Um, what's also cool is you can choose a, a shooting mode pretty easily just by... Whoop, sorry about that. Let's get back into it. Just by clicking on this little dial in the bottom right. And that'll give you the list of different modes. And as you can see, it has HDR, panorama, and object removal. Now, the stock app does have HDR and panorama, but with these, it does not have object removal, which obviously allows you to remove an object from a photo after taking a sequence of a, a few shots. And the panorama mode, which I'll be showing you a little bit later, actually has augmented reality, which shows the previous picture that's kind of actually floating there, which I think is really cool. Other than that, it just offers up a different interface, which some people may think is um, easier to use. And I find that the big icons is better than the list, which is in the, the stock GS3. Um, you can also select the, the menu by hitting the menu button on your phone. You can access the general settings volume button. You can also take a picture with uh, the viewfinder settings. I mean, it's just... The, the options that you can have access to are pretty awesome and in here you can change the options for each individual um, shooting method so number of images and the object removal it's pauses between shots group shot number of images pause between shots etc so you can actually fine-tune it a little bit more than the stock app and then also this premium feature that I was talking about the um, high resolution panorama which is the augmented reality and the HDR mode and the object removal all cost extra I mean you can see them right here that they actually cost extra while you do have the freeze version you do get a limited amount of photos that you can take using these premium features but once those um freebies I guess run out you will be um, forced to actually purchase it in order to continue to use it now if you do have HDR plus and panorama plus which are also available in the Play Store by the same developer, um, you also obviously will not have to repay for those because they will be included in this version of the app, which is pretty much a conglomerate of the developer's other camera app apps. Um, so as you can see here, you can unlock Group Shot for $2.99, Object Removal $2.99, or you can unlock them all for $5.95. Um, this is a little bit pricey, I found, but if you are looking for the Group Shot the moving objects and and just a, a different feel for the the panorama or HDR. This is this is a pretty good option. So I'm going to be showing you my favorite feature, which is the panorama. And just a few seconds, we're going to go outside and take a, a, a couple photos, and I'll I'll show you what that looks like. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, I'm here outside, and I'm going to be showing you the panorama feature of a better camera. So you click on this little dial here, you choose panorama and you're going to tap on the, the shoot icon. So you hear that and then you're going to rotate over until it turns green. If you can see that color you want to fit it in there. It'll snap Then you're just going to keep going over snap continue should snap snap we're going to go up, snap, we're just going to go all the way around, and um, I don't know why it's telling me to go up here, but go all the way around, 
Then we're going to get the finished product by coming back down. You can just hear the snaps actually being taken. There it goes. So it actually, it's, it's pretty helpful that you get the, the little viewer in your menu. And keep going down, get right back to Mr. Pumpkin. And last shot should be right. Boom. And then you hit the, um, you're gonna hit the shoot icon. And as you can see right there, it'll start processing. It'll take, I don't know, sometimes it takes a little longer, depends on um, how uh, intense, I guess, your photo is. And then once it's done processing, it'll upload into your, um, I guess, your, your, cam your photo library. But the cool thing is you can actually see the pictures being taken on the screen so that you can slide through as you can see with the, the floating squares which actually helps somewhat get them the right angle and the, the right dimensions into your screen so that your panorama actually shows up properly so I'm still waiting for this to upload up oh, looks like it's done so you're just gonna click on that it'll take you to your gallery where you can see your panorama so I think we do this, click on the photo, and you can see it turned out pretty good. So that's the um, the mode that I wanted to show you. It's um, it's a cool app. Your stock app is fine, but this is just it's an alternative for people looking for a little bit more. And like I said, it does have comes with features that are not available in the stock app, like um, object removal. And also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check out the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 soft motor.